What is up guys? Nuxta here, bringing you some free-for-all gameplay, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, live commentary. Uh, I feel like live commentaries for me are more comfortable to do than rather than post commentaries. I, I promise I will try to get better at post commentaries. Because I, I, I understand that like not all the time I'm going to be able to do a live commentary. Because I got school, you know. But, like, I find it more entertaining for me, to be honest. Because post-commentary, like, I run out of things to say, and I don't like it, because that makes the video dull. I'd rather make it... It makes it funny for me, to be honest. My reactions sometimes are insane. Like, I just really get mad at the game. But, other than that, like, I found an article on IGN, and it was about the new update for the for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, right? Most of it was for maps, like, to fix the map. Like, all the maps, basically. Because they, some of them have glitches on on Atlas Gorge on Momentum that fix the, the spawn locations. And the other ones, basically, is just, like, players were able to get out of the world. Like, Assault Drones and Recon Drones were able to get out of the world. And... Oh. And on Detroit, like... Like, I know this is not really a good description, but I think it's A-bomb on search and destroy. Like, on A-bomb, you can literally get on top of the on the building. I don't know how. I didn't figure it out. But they were literally able to get on top of the building, and that made it kind of stupid, to be honest. Because, like, once you were up there once, like, you would get killed by somebody, obviously. Yeah, you would probably pick up a couple kills, but you, you were going to get killed. And then, like, that was an easy kill every time for whoever, like, because the guy was going to keep trying to go up there. Oh, come on, get on, get on, get on. No, 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 no. I know you're coming over here. Oh, my God, that's BS. And, like, yeah, basically, like, Detroit, they were able to get, on, like, on top of that building. They fixed that. And, but the major thing about this, about, about the update, was that they did a uh, connection, uh, wait, what, what does it say? Uh, connection optimizations. So, basically, I hope they fix the connections, to be honest, because that is the only thing this game is lacking. It's, like, them fixing the connection. How did I not get that kill? Seriously. Like, all, all this game needs is, like, a stable connection, and this game will be beautiful. Like, in my opinion, best Call of Duty, to me, is the best Call of Duty out there. Other than that, it's just, to be honest, connection-wise. Connection-wise, it's, it's kind of laggy some of the times. See, like, for example, right there. Sometimes I'll, I'll go to punch somebody, I'll punch them first, clearly press the button first, and they still are able to kill me. That that really gets annoying. Like it really get, does get irritating. But you you gotta keep playing. But to be honest, like something that I think that they should do for this game, that they said that they were gonna do. That's the funny thing. They said Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was going to have dedicated servers, and that is a big thing. Cause dedicated servers is amazing. You don't have to, like, you don't have to hope for somebody to have a great connection. Like, for the host to have a great connection, for you to be able to have, your, you know, good games. Because uh, when, when you're playing, like, with somebody from, like, Australia or Europe, you know you're not going to have a good game at all. Like, it's not going to be pretty for you. Uh, I don't know why I pressed that grenade button. And I still didn't get the kill. That's just funny as hell. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. But yeah, like, when you play with somebody that's not from the U.S., like me, I'm from New Jersey, but even when I play with people from California, like, it lags. It, it sometimes just lags bad. And it, it's not a good thing, because it really, like, it, it makes the game kind of dull. Like, it just makes it, like, eh. Like, yeah, the game looks amazing and all, but, like, little things like that, you don't really... Like, Activision makes mad money. They're not going to lose that much. By putting like dedicated servers in this game, okay. Ooh. By putting dedicated in the server, like, I mean dedicated servers in this game, 
it will make it like amazing. It will make it best Call of Duty ever. In my opinion, it's the best Call of Duty already. But you know that that little that little issue with the connection is the only bad thing about it. But like, I I really hope because they released a statement that said like that dedicated servers were actually coming. But I don't know if they're gonna keep that promise. Because to be honest, like everybody, all they've been asking for is dedicated servers in Call of Duty. Look, right there, that lag right there, I got, it got me killed. Like, that's all people want in this game. The Call of Duty, the Call of Duty franchise is probably the best franchise out there. Oh my god, I saw him by the corner of my eye. It's most likely the, be like, the best franchise out there for video games. And like, for them not to like, invest, what, like, something so small. Because to be honest, this game makes billions. Like, it makes, oh, snap. It makes billions per year. And that's not even an exaggeration. It, it, it makes billions. And for them not to invest, like, literally, it, it probably is going to be like 5% of what the game is making. To invest that in, in, in dedicated servers is it's sad. It's, to be honest, it's really sad. Oh, my God. Come on now. Oh, get him stuck. Good, good. Ah, oh, that's good shit right there. Look, look, right there. I press B. I press B. I, I swear to God I press B. But guess what? I still get punched. It happens every time to me. Every single time. Oh, man. I'm going to lose this game. Damn, I don't want to lose this game. God, my aim is horrendous right now. Yeah, I lost this game for sure. I lost this game for sure, man. Damn, that's a shame. I'm sorry, guys. This is what happens a lot of commentary. You either win or lose, right? Snipers, snipers everywhere. Snipers everywhere, man. Damn. Damn. Ah, I got second place. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll try to bring uh, more Call of Duty to this channel. Like, I got a couple videos up of Call of Duty. Uh, most of yeah, all of them are live, uh, live commentaries. Uh, I also have my GTA Let's Play that I'm doing for, for GTA, obviously, I just said it. Uh, I have part one on my channel. I'm doing part two very soon. I also have FIFA in my channel. Like, I, I do FIFA online, online seasons. Like, I do some, like, I also did a squad builder. I did a video with, uh, I used my BPO team and I put David Luiz as a striker. It's insane. It's pretty funny, too. And also, I plan to do uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. I'm getting the game very soon, so I, that, well, as soon as I get that game, I am starting the, the Let's Play, like, ASAP. Like, you guys are going to see videos coming through very, very fast for Assassin's Creed and GTA. I'm going to try to get those playthroughs done as quick as, quick as I can. So, yeah. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, guys. Please, any comments, suggestions on how I can improve, let me know. And thank you very much. Thanks for watching. and.